Finally, Engineer 775, I'm just putting this uh, three panel array on my roof uh, for the solar air conditioning setup. Um, I believe this is a perfect spot. You can see the sun there coming up and over. It's about 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock. This roof is a uh, southwestern facing roof, so for air conditioning, that's kind of perfect. You want your uh, array to be picking up as much afternoon solar as possible, and this doesn't get any better. Nice flat 312 pitch, and uh, um, we got three 300 watts, so 900 watts of solar with this uh, direct drive system, and uh, I used a DPW mount with what is called Easy Feet, um, and there's five really good fasteners. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's so bright up here, but those are the Easy Feet, and you want to make sure you catch your purlins going across, and they got a really nice butyl sticky something or other underneath them. So anyway, got my grounding started. Okay, as I'm re um, thinking of the way I want to cool my house in an off-grid fashion, I've gone with the, the mini split. And I just wanted to show you up on, on my roof, I put three 300 watt solar panels. And they are brought down to a disconnect. And you can see the little fan turning in this outdoor unit. Um, this is the combined AC-DC unit. So I'm bringing DC power from above and there's an AC disconnect there. Pay no attention to the Lowe's bucket. That's me collecting condensate because I wanted to see how much water. And I'm getting about five, <laughs> five gallon bucket, five hours, uh, five, a gallon an hour of condensate water that I could use to filter to drink or flush commodes, but it is producing a ton of water. And so I love this so far. The max power I have been able to clamp meter um, on, on the AC side with no solar was 822 watts to make one ton of air conditioning. So I think that's pretty pretty efficient. Now when I blend in the DC, it will be running pretty much off of solar, but it needs some AC and about 90 watts max. And of course when the clouds go over, anyway it adjusts automatically. So I think this is a great setup. My, my roof is flat roof here on my loft and it's southwestern exposure so I'm getting you know when I need this air conditioner you know from about nine in the morning till five uh, right well it's what after five now um, probably almost seven o'clock I am making uh, power off of those panels to run this unit almost entirely it'll feather in about 80 watts off the grid 80 90 watts off the grid so it's a great accessory if you already have a solar system and you want air conditioning to install this little beauty and it it's just doing wonderful. Forgive my AC, I'm not a H I'm learning. I did vacuum the lines, but I just installed the line set. It's a mess. I'm going to clean it up. Uh, but I, um anyway, <laughs> it is working and I'm so happy with it. So Anyway, we're going to be putting a few of these in on our installations as accessories for those that want a, at least a place or room in an area in their homes where they could escape in a grid down situation if they had solar and without you and without hurting the inverter because it's only going to be taking 90 watts uh, AC uh, from the inverter inverted battery bank and so there's a lot of things you can do you can run also at night you can run the unit in uh, dehumidification mode and it's pulling like 250 watts and just being in a dehumidified room really makes a difference so anyway just wanted to show you some of my air conditioning strategy I'm um, also in the future I'm gonna be replacing the four ton beasts the four ton a unit and the two and a half ton with an absorption chiller. So I'm really looking forward to that project. And I have one coming July 10th, I think, to start experimenting with. And that's an absorption chiller that will make cold water, hot and cold water. And it will do it with a uh, variable speed Toshiba inverter compressor. And what this allows me to do is tie into my hydronic system from my wood boiler. So I can do air conditioning from a chiller that will move water, cold water, in and out of my radiators. So I'll show you all that, lots of details, but for now, I went with the inverter 
compressor mini split and this compressor is awesome I, I can I think there's like 16 stages it goes through the variable speed and it's just I mean it's so super efficient I'm loving it so um, so is everybody in the family but this is a not so it's a, it's a money saver I believe and it's also um, a way to do air conditioning economically in a grid down situation okay for all those that did comment on part one that I wasn't pulling a vacuum so got my vacuum pump hooked up and we're hooked up to the line set so we are going to evacuate the line so just uh, wanted to let you know okay we're wiring up the inside of the AC DC 12 hybrid air conditioner we have our line power 220 on the left side in the center of the control wires that come with the unit that go from the inside unit to the outside unit and then we have our solar breaker and we've checked the polarity we're good positive and negative and the breaker is on I don't know if you can read on there but the breaker is on and then we have a disconnect out here we're really going to turn the, the solar on and off from out here we've checked our polarities we're good and we're wired here get a button up before we burn up and here's the indoor unit and I've got a it's got a nifty little remote with it with a lot of different features with timers and uh, all different settings and again it's a heat pump so it will do heat and air conditioning and it has a little follow me mode so you, wherever you if you put it on follow me you can um, actually wherever the temperature wherever the remote is set at the temperature of the set point that's what the air conditioner will work to till it satisfies the remote temperature so anyway hope that made sense so this little thing is working great put it in the worst place in my house in terms of heat up in this loft we just get a lot of a lot of heat up here I do move a little bit with the fan and uh, so it's just a it's a great space but now it's actually an enjoyable space in the hot summer because of our solar drive air conditioning the ACDC 12B is the model of this you can find it on our website at practicalpreppers.com under products and under air conditioning let me know if you have any questions so far so good